whatever. If what you're not, if something else happens, you can do something else. You don't have to fill in the else, and you don't have to fill in the then. You can leave either of them blank if you want, and just use one of them if that's what you need. Now let's just disable this one and add another one. New element. Another trigger. And we're gonna take unit is unit dies for instance. And in actions here I'm gonna add an if then else multiple. So this one looks a little bit different. Um, basically what you want to go do when you add one is go in here and add a new element and you get here an else if condition and then. So uh, let's set it up first and you will understand it. I'll explain it later. So we'll go unit type uh, triggering unit equals a marine then text message you killed a marine there and we're gonna add a second one here gonna put this one first the order is very important here as you will see in a moment and owner of unit the unit that dies the triggering unit equals player 2, then we will say, we'll copy this down here, you killed a unit owned by player 2. Alright, so what the thing about this if then else is that it will check these things in order, in the order that they appear, and once it has run one of them, it will not run any of the other ones, even if they are true. So if I kill a marine, it will say you killed a marine and it will skip this one. Even if the mar marine was owned by a player 2, it will not say this. However, if I kill a salad of player 2, then it will go past this marine thing and it will go to this one, check if this is true. If it's player 2, then it will say this. If it's player 3, for instance, then it will just go straight out of here. So when you add an if then else with multiple conditions, remember the order you put them in is very important. The basic structure is the same. You check in here if things are true. Uh, and if they are true, it will run this. If not, it will check if the next one is true. So if we start the game once again, Unfortunately, I did not start a timer, so I um, might go over 10 minutes. If so, I'll just do the whole tutorial and I'll split it up later. So let's go and kill a marine from player 2, and you will say it, you killed a marine. It will not say that I killed a unit from player 2. However, if I go and kill a salad from player 2, well, these salads are going to run away, so let's just get up close. There we go. You kill a unit owned by player 2. If I go kill marines from player 3, it should say, I killed a marine. And finally, if I kill these salads up here, it should say absolutely nothing. So we're going to fly up and kill them. And you will see once that dies that it's not going to say anything. Because we didn't add a condition for it. So let's move on now. This is the basics of if-then-else. It's not that hard, and it's very similar to what you put up here. You can think of this as another if-then-else. So if this happens, if these conditions are true, then run these actions. It's basically what each trigger is. So we're going to go to loops now. So we're going to disable this one. We're going to add another trigger, new element. loop demo event I'm gonna make it a timed event here 
periodic event every five seconds of game time. We are going to start with... There are many kinds of loops in this game. You have the uh, while loops. If you type while and this while here. What this will do is as long as this condition in here is true, it will keep repeating these actions. So if you add a local variable here called uh, a number, for instance, then we set in the conditions variable a number is smaller than 3. It should show a text message. Message, we're going to combine, combine text. First text, the number is, with a space at the end, second text, convert, convert integer to text, since this variable here is an integer. Then we pick our variable. The number is, and it will say the number. Now, if you run this now, this thing will go into an infinite loop. It will never stop running once it's started, because we don't increase this number inside the loop. So what we want to do is um, add a modify variable, integer. We pick our variable, a number, and we take plus one. So each time it runs, it will add one. Lastly, I'm going to add a wait command up here, wait. Here you also have a wait for conditions, which is basically a while loop that just keeps waiting until the condition is true. We can show you that in a moment. Wait time, um, uh, one second of game time. What this will run now is a count, it will count up to, it will count up from um, zero to three every five seconds and it will count up over with one second delay between each count. So we're going to run it, and we should see a text message here soon, after five seconds. One, two, okay, it stops at two, since then it, at the third interval, the number is three, and it doesn't go through the loop again. But you will see it will keep counting like this, over and over again. So I'm just going to close StarCraft, and go back to the triggers. Um, once the number hit 3, it's going to skip out. So if you wanted to count to 3, it will take less than or equal to. And it will run this all the way until the number is 4. Sorry, my bad. That's a basic while condition. Once again, you can run it any condition you like. You can, well, you can use the same conditions as you use up here in the conditions here. I'm just going to disable this one. And I'm going to add another one. And we're going to do wait for condition. Going to replace it if, then, else, multiple. And if, then, else. OK, so wait for condition. I'm going to go on map initialization. So this trigger would run as soon as the map starts. Action wait for condition. W basically what this does, if we type a condition here, uh, number of units from unit group, no, uh, count. Number of units in unit group, it will count the number of living units in a unit group. Here we're going to take uh, matching units in region matching condition. It's a very useful unit group. Unit type any entire map owned by player 2. Count any amount. Equals 0. So this one, the 